So here's a small list I came across that is the top 10 applications you should have on your phone if you're trading cryptocurrency, guys. So for all you crypto lovers out there, here's the top apps. Um, I use most of them, but I'll, I'll go over all of them. Blockfolio, it's one of my top three. Awesome application for somebody that is doesn't have a whole lot of coins. I mean, even if you have a lot of coins, it's just you got to add everything together and manually input stuff. It's a little tedious, but the app works just fine. Uh, favorite is probably Crypto Pro. Um, this application is five dollars, so big whoop, you know. But some people they don't want to pay any money for applications, so I completely understand and I get it. It does everything Blockfolio does, but just a little bit better. It gives you your cost basis, what your total net worth is, and it gives you some notifications and some price alerts that are in USD, which I like. Blockfolio does the same thing. It's just the alerts are in Bitcoin, so I don't know if you can transfer 4,400 USD into Bitcoin or 50 cents or 10 cents. If you guys are good at that, then you don't need this application. But if not, that works. All right. Um, Bitcoin Checker. This application is on the Google Play Store. I don't believe it is for um, Apple users. Big, big sigh. But basically, you can look up all the exchanges and find what coins are on what exchange and what their rate is going by Satoshi or um, other fiat. So it is good to have, you know, if you're just looking around, got some free time, you can search and, and do a little bit of research on what your next purchase may be. Next one is Coin Tracker. This guy's for all you whales out there that have got so much money you guys can manipulate the market at a whim of a dime you just come in there conor mcgregor it with suit and you know have waving the arms back and forth telling everyone to fook themselves all right so uh, enough with the joke it does everything Blockfolio and crypto pro does it just does it automatic which is nice so if you've got 12 different exchanges well you can have them all in the cloud um, and sync each other simultaneously. The downside is, is unfortunately it is around two to four hundred dollars depending upon what service you would like. So that's why it keeps a lot of people um, away. You know, it's, it's not a whole lot of money, but you have to be pretty serious to try to invest that much because um, you could you could put. You could turn $200 into $2,000 just if you were to drop it into Tron or, you know, XRP or something like that. So anyway, moving on. Lawnmower, it's a little bit like Blockfolio. Um, they, they, they do the, the same thing. It just looks a little bit different. Uh, depends on what interface you want. Um, so, you know, they'll tell you... I kind of think it reminds me of the way Robinhood looks like. I don't know if you guys have got any brokerage accounts, but uh, that's a, an exchange that they have on the App Store for the New York Stock Exchange, and it, it looks fairly similar to this. Um, it does have some nice features with um, the pie charts, and um, hey, it looks like it, it tracks stocks as well, not just uh, crypto. So... That's nifty. Z Trader. This application is the reason why I'd like an Android. Freaking Apple ties everything down so much on the hardware. I mean the software. Nobody's been able to jailbreak an iPhone, it seems, in like ages. So our phones aren't on locks and we, we can't access stuff like this. But basically, if there's applications that don't have... Um, if there's an exchange that doesn't have an application, Bittrex, uh, Binance, you know, or if they're just Chinese exchanges and you're not Chinese, um, well, you can use ZTrader to be able to um, purchase those coins and do it straight from your cell phone as opposed to using Safari or some sort of um, web application to to go on, log online and, and purchase those. So that is that is super cool. I do like this. Probably 
one of my favorites is this earn.com so for those of you that don't have a lot of money to invest in cryptocurrency you can earn some crypto by um, or just fiat money by answering questions about cryptocurrency um, answering messages emails so replace your public inbox with an inbox that pays you that's super nifty so obviously this is generated on how um, how big your following is so if you've got a hundred thousand Twitter followers you're probably gonna make more than the guy that has 500 Twitter followers so there is that to consider um, let's continue on so Bitcoin.com wallet uh, I honestly I haven't used this so I don't know too much about it so therefore I'm not going to review it Google Authenticator this is my number one must-have application if you're don't show again if you're an Android user an Apple user you just have cryptocurrency if you have a wallet on an exchange you should have this application a lot of people by default they set up the SMS alert so when you log in it sends you a text message and then you have to put in a number but to me that's not as secure as this Google Authenticator so for example if somebody really really was good at hacking and, and wanted to get my my wallet uh, they would need to know what what exchange I'm using and then they need to you know my username and password but then they'd also have to have my cell phone which when you think about it isn't that hard to do because all you would have to do is find out what their carrier is T-Mobile Sprint AT&T Cricket you name it whatever um, copyright not copyright but um, steal their identity a little bit call them up say hey I got a new phone I'm switching can you activate this new sim card and you put it in your phone you log in you get the message boom you're off to the races you got their wallet you can move everything out and untraceable with Google Authenticator it's a two-factor authenticator so when you log in it's asking for a six-digit code that changes every 15 seconds it's really simple to set up on your exchange you just would have to go to settings and take a quick picture of a, a QI code with this application and boom you have it so somebody would actually have to have your physical login information for Google Authenticate excuse me for that to work so those are my top 10 I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if there's another application that you use out there that is works better than the ones that were listed. Um, and, you know, I look forward to reading the comments below and answering some questions and learning some more information. And we're growing as a community together, guys. So until next time, this is Johnny signing out. And now I know my heart is a goal.